Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the poor marketing decisions from a actual marketing agency owner. So that's what I do for a living. Um, I do digital marketing at a very high level for many clients that you probably have purchased items from. So this is why it frustrates me so much is because they will Magic the Gathering, Magic Fest, Channel Fireball, some type of combination if not all of them, they will pay for the mana source to attend events. Now, what is payment, you might ask? Uh, what is promotion, you might ask? So let's start with promotion. Uh, when the mana source was injured and he collected his $90,000 of donations, um, a month or less than a month, a few weeks later, Channel Fireball had a advertisement for their newest Magic Fest and they had a picture of the Mana Source on it and encouraging uh, the Mana Source fans to attend the event. Well, the Mana Source had to backtrack, which I think that he was actually going to attend, but the, the view on it looked not the best. So then he said he was still injured, and then Channel Fireball removed the ad. But luckily for us, we have screenshots of the ads, uh, which I included in a previous video. So let's talk about um, this video from Boogie. And it alludes to the fact that Rich Hagen and other individuals um, who were contracted and even the Magic Gathering tip cards recommended that, oh, we're going to cover all of these events. Don't worry about it. They ran out of money. Now, where did the money like go? Um, and this is why I'm going to bring Rudy and Boogie into it and even on Sleeve Media. So these people are willing to spend their own money or they're willing to, as long as you give them a plane ticket and a hotel, I guarantee you they will show up just because of the amount of content. So let's focus on Rudy. Alpha Investments. Google GP Vate Las Vegas uh, or Magic Fest Las Vegas. And the majority of videos that you're going to see are from Rudy. He was there unofficially. And he covered the event way more with a lot of interesting content for his channel. It really helped him grow his channel. I, th I don't think he would argue that being at the event was a net positive, a very strong positive for his channel. Therefore, it kind of makes no sense for him not to go to, you know, Magic Fest Orlando or somewhere that's close to him. But he chooses not to go. He's actually made a video specifically telling his subscribers he's not going to any more Magic Fest or GPs or events because he feels unwelcome. Think about how illogical that is. The dude's going to your event, pretty much producing free content for you for years. And it's good for him. It's good for you. And you say no. Well, you don't say no. You just make him feel so unwelcomed that he has to come out in the open and say I don't want to go to your events. And then no one contacts him afterwards and says, hey, is there anything we can do? And then you look at the treatment of the the mana source, right? Um, I believe Card Kingdom, Channel Fireball, they all donated five to $10,000 to the mana source. At least one of them had tweeted about that. And that was the most wasteful $5,000 anyone has tweeted out, assuming they, they did make the donation. Um, they didn't do it on the GoFundMe. So the GoFundMe was just uh, the Patreons and the subscribers. There was a lot of corporate donations that went to the mana source. So when you look at the GoFundMe, you look at 90000 the number is actually much larger. And then Boogie is a, a very good candidate to send to a Magic Fest or a Mythic Invitation because he has 4.5 million subscribers and... Most of them actually don't play Magic. Many of them do not play Magic. Therefore, you're introducing it into a... You're, you have a player who really enjoys Magic, which is Boogie. You can tell from his old videos. You can tell that he has Magic videos many years ago. And one of the most iconic Magic videos, when he flips the table, right? That's one of his most popular videos of all time, involves Magic the Gathering. So he knows where he came from. He knows magic, what magic means to him, and everyone does as well. So why wouldn't you fly him in, and then he would get great content. He would be able to produce great content. He would be able to share content with 4.0 million people who many of them don't play the game, 
but will be intrigued and definitely want to go there to meet him. Instead, you spend all your money on the mana source. Now, the reason I'm going to be so critical is it doesn't make any sense because you had better options. Rudy gives you more views, more impressions, more um, content. When is the last time the mana source has ever made like content that wasn't about his injury? I'll wait. I mean, there's some deck text, but he doesn't make con Rudy makes content every single day. When he was doing Las Vegas, two to four videos a day on Vegas, over and over again. So it doesn't take, you know, it doesn't take a lot of effort to make content consistently. The mana source is not willing to invest that effort. It doesn't make sense. Why would you fly if your choices were Rudy and the mana source? to promote your event, why are you always choosing the mana source? Even if you think the mana source is better, diversify a little bit. Now let's get into Unsleeved Media, who was banned from events totally. Um, this is a guy who hosted his own magic event, and it was, and then he paid for it, and I don't know if he made money or lost money from the event, but he had his own event to celebrate his banning for life. Um, this is someone who doesn't need magic anymore, but still I think is very attracted to magic because no one can really give up magic. And that's one of the key things that keeps me around as well. So you have a scenario where you do have individuals and you're wondering why Magic Fest is failing. Now the professor, of course, to Larian Community College will say it's not failing and great, we sold out. My argument to that is your numbers are down and numbers don't lie. Everything else can lie. You can, I can print out something on my, uh, on a printer saying that I, the MTG Line Festival sold out, and it was only two people. It was me and my uh, secretary. Great. We post on Reddit. We get a bunch of likes, and you know, Reddit gold, and we're good. But the reality is, poor business decisions, poor marketing decisions are being made time and time again. And these are things that should never be made. Whoever is in a marketing department, assuming they are not a 1099 employee, like assuming they are a W-2 employee with a 401k benefits plan and health insurance, for goodness sake, give them health insurance, please, wizards. Um, they should recognize what I'm talking about is your numbers are not good. You can spend the same amount of money flying Rudy or Boogie to a place that you would send, spend on the mana source every single time whether that's Wizard of the Coast, whether that's Channel Fireball, doesn't matter. And now that I think about it, is there like, I, I read an article on CNN, not the most reliable news site, but still. And it was talking about how they were charging people who weighed heavier more money for plane tickets. So it might actually be possibly cheaper to fly Rudy out than the man source. I'm not sure, but it's either the same cost or cheaper. And in return, you get a year plus worth of content about your awesome event where many more people will watch, or you can get, you can donate five to $10,000 to someone's GoFundMe who was just injured. So, hmm, you know, uh, hmm, which is better? Donating money to someone who injured themselves from going to your event, which also posts this liability. Had he been injured on site, Man, that would, that's a lawsuit waiting to happen. I think he was injured at a fancy restaurant or something. I remember seeing a picture of him at a fancy restaurant, and then right after the picture, he was injured. <laughs> so, you know, those boys, uh, those boys at Tolarian and uh, the Mana Source love their fancy aged steak and oysters and whatever else they're eating in Las Vegas. I mean, maybe that's the cause of injury. Maybe if they had dieted better, exercised regularly... Uh, but, you know, who am I to say that? I can't say that. I mean, in America, we can be as irresponsible as we want. In the UK, it's even worse because you have benefits and, quote, special counsel. So whenever I watch these UK store, uh, uh, shows, they talk about special counsel. They need to get help from special counsel. So it's apparently a place that you can physically walk in and you can be like, I don't have a place to live. Give me a place to live. And then they have to give you a place to live. It's amazing, right? That place doesn't exist in America where like if you're homeless or you've just been kicked out because you didn't pay rent for two years or you are um, 
in heavy debt, you can just walk to this place and they have to put you up in housing, especially if you have kids or if you're an immigrant. It's quite amazing. It's like a physical place you can walk in. And, you know, it's, hey, I've been irresponsible, but bail me out physically at this place. Anyway, now focusing a little bit more on the boogie aspect, I think he's right. Um, I think the solution to making these events actual event comes down to paying people who A, want to be there, and B, can bring other people to bring you revenue. It's no mystery that vendors are dropping these events like flies, right? Because why would they want to go to an event where they cannot make money? And the reason they cannot make money comes down to the poor marketing decisions that are being made. Who thought that advertising with the mana source on Facebook, who knows how much money they spent there? Probably $10,000 advertising with the mana source in his face. Go to Magic Fest, meet this guy. Right after he was injured. Like, does that not seem like a scam of some type? Like, I mean, come on. Like, I'm pretty sure that if the, there wasn't blowback, then the mana source would have gone to the event two weeks after his injury. Uh, luckily, you know, there were some common sense people saying that he should not go. Um, so from a marketing perspective, they have made very poor decisions when better options were available to them. And they know better options. So if the question, if the question is, if they know that better options are available to them, then why do they keep choosing the worst option over and over again? And my answer to that is actually quite simple. It's because of politics. They don't like Rudy. They don't like Boogie. They have attacked Boogie in the past. And they're willing to forego profits. They're willing to forego things that actually they really want and need. Is numbers, impressions, uh, vendor payouts. Like It's just the numbers are down. No matter how much Tolarian Community College says the numbers are up, the numbers are actually down. They were way down in 2018. These numbers came from Channel Fireball. So unless you're saying that they're making up fake numbers for tax reasons, there's no reason that they would report down numbers. Now, back to my um, the issue. The issue is we have individuals in our community who truly love magic. They truly love them. Boogie's one of them. Rudy's one of them. And they would love to be promoted like Tolarian, like Wedge, and they're not. They're not. And the reason that they are not being promoted and the reason that they are being ostracized, like with Jeff Hoogland. Now, I don't agree with Jeff Hoogland, and I'm sure Jeff Hoogland doesn't like my guts. I don't like him particularly. But I will agree with his points. I will agree with his, ab his ability to have a point of view. And maybe he's abrasive, maybe he's mean, spirited, and all these like words that people throw at him. But at the end of the day, he gets viewerships, he brings in new people, he brings in revenue, he brings in, he generates everything that the mana source cannot generate. I mean, when's the last time you saw an interesting non, I mean, the mana source deck techs are just deck lists off Channel Fireball. Like, have you guys not figured that out yet? It's a net deck. It's a net deck. There's no vlogs. There's no. When's the last time you saw a vlog from Tolarian Community College at a Magic Fest? All these Magic Fests, he's being flying. He's being paid to be there. Paid. Yes, I said that, Brian. Paid. Why would you. I mean, have you seen a vlog from him? Have you seen a vlog from the Man Source? What if I told you that they're flying these people out to every single Magic Fest? And Rudy only went to one. So, back to my main point. People are being ostracized because their political views or their demeanor, Jeff Hoogland, is not viewed positively. This is really a, a club, a clique of types. And you're either in or you're out. And if you're in, no matter how poorly you perform, no matter how poorly the numbers you generate are, they will continue to pay you. And yes, Brian, I said paid because I do consider you being paid. So if you're out, no matter how hard you try, like Jeff Hoogland, to change and become a better person, they're always going to drag you in the mud because they don't like you. 
they never did, and they never will. So, to conclude, one of the most ridiculous marketing scams I've ever seen is what Wizard of the Coast is doing in terms of who they sponsor. Ridiculous scam. Now, I need you guys to help me on this other channel. Uh, this other channel, I need to get to uh, a very high subscriber count. That way, I can then go all rage out against the people who did not put me on the top 100 social media people. So imagine this. Imagine that I have uh, the more YouTubers than everyone else. I have LinkedIn more LinkedIn followers by a factor of 10 than the first person. And they still won't put me on this list. I have had more Twitter followers than most of them. I'm top 10 in every category, including Facebook pages and things of that nature. And they won't put me in the list because like what Wizard of the Coast is doing with Rudy and Boogie, they don't like me. They don't like my attitude. They don't like who I am. You know, I'm not going to say like they're racist or anything, but like there are things that I look at and I say, huh, that is strange. That's strange that this person's on this list and I'm not, even though my numbers, my engagement and the reason I need to get this uh, channel up and running and get, you know, so I can make more, more aggressive videos is because I think it's all their social media is fake. Out of the top 100 people, are you telling me that whenever they tweet something, one person likes a tweet or one person likes the Facebook post? Come on, that can't be real. You have 100,000 quote followers, right? Anyway, I really need your help. I want you to sub su subscribe. I'm getting like really worked up now because I'm like seeing I'm seeing red because I'm so angry about that issue that I for many many years I've been in Houston I've dominated social media I've dominated LinkedIn I've always had the best LinkedIn for any digital marketer in in Houston and now I want the best YouTube channel by far and then if I have LinkedIn and YouTube what are they what are they going to say right are they going to keep me off the list again as a top hundred when there's not even a hundred digital marketers in Houston. Somehow they found a hundred people. They, they have like no subscribers. They have no content. Like, it's like, why don't you put me on the blanking list? I'm going to force them to put me on that blanking list when I have the biggest channels in social media in Houston. And then I'm going to tell them how stupid that list is because I'm going to make my own list. Anyway, bye. Yeah, it's a rampage. I'm going to rampage some more a little later.